Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if Windows Defender is not working on Windows 11. The first solution that you should take in consideration is to change the date and time. To do this simply click the Windows button, then type in date and time and select date and time settings from the search results. In here simply click on the change button next to the set the date and time manually and simply modify a bit the input. This is a temporary solution as Windows 11 is still improving but it seems that changing the time solves it. Another useful solution is to update Windows. To do this press the Windows button then type in update and select the check for updates option from the search result. In here simply click on the blue check for updates button and Windows will proceed with searching and installing any possible updates. And another great solution is to enable real-time protection. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and in here make sure to select privacy and security on the left pane and then on the right pane make sure to click on the Windows security option. In the next slide make sure to select the open Windows security button which will take you to the main app. In here click on the virus and threat protection category and as you can see I have a third party antivirus which bypasses automatically the Windows Defender app but if you don't have one you will be able to see something like this. So click on manage settings, then simply switch the real-time protection toggle to on and this should start Windows Defender right away. You can also run an SFC scan. To do this press the Windows button then type in CMD and run command prompt as an administrator. In the following window type this command as I will also post it in the description below and then press enter and wait for a bit as the process can take some time. Lastly just restart your computer. And another great solution is to change the proxy server. To do this simply press the Windows button then type in CMD and run command prompt as an administrator. In here copy paste one of the following commands that I posted in the description below and then press enter. Lastly simply reboot the system and check if this command solves the issue. And that's it, plenty of solutions to take in consideration. As usual for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.